All right, so we're back. We have a little bit of a weird one today. We're trying to figure out what is going on with this ignition coil. So obviously it's aftermarket. I didn't know it was aftermarket until we're having a look at the wiring. The resistor has now gone. I was taking it apart, realized it was aftermarket, and I was like, I should probably record this. See what happens, see if I can make a video out of it. But I'm just gonna start by taking it apart. Uh, I already started, that's why this one is already off. Um, but I'll start on the other one, and then we'll see what happens. All right, so I did drop a washer. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. But I got all the wires off. So this is what I mean, it is aftermarket. So this is usually the resistor, I believe. I'm not even sure at this point, man. I'm just gonna have a look at all the wires, compare it to the diagram, and see what happens, because the resistor has gone. It usually sits on here. So I assume that's what it is, but let's then do this and move this out of the way as well. So yeah, I'm gonna take this whole bracket off, screw here, screw here, figure out what this does, have a look at the, uh, the ignition coil, and then see Okay, so I removed the two bolts holding it in and the whole ignition coil came out. The resistor, or I don't even know if it's a resistor yet, this came out as well and so just sat on there like that. So, I'm going to figure out what this does, see if we actually need it, see if I can get these wires. Um, and yeah, take it from there. The um, coil itself, I'm going to have a look at the specs of it. See if it is the right coil. I assume it is, but you know, some people swap them out wrong. And if need be, I'll just get a new one. So these are the two wires I was talking about, which I watched a video and everyone kind of just puts these away. I'm not too sure what they're for. Um, it turns out that this looks like the resistor, so it's obviously together. So I'll just take that back up and tape it away, because um, that just bypasses the resistor, essentially. And then obviously you got your, I think this is the sensor or something. I'm not even sure, man, but it was there. So I might keep it there. And then obviously you've got your two power lines. There's your negative and where is the positive? I don't, I don't even know, it's somewhere here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tidy up all these cables, um, stick them away and then, yeah. Okay, I've got some black electrical tape and also went to Halfords, <laughs> big up Halfords, got four jack stands, a new uh, jack and then obviously some coolant for the radiator and also a big, or well, some drain pan things. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to carry on doing this, clean up the uh, wires. just thought about this, so I disconnected this from the ignition coil, the actual bracket that holds it in. And I thought I might just sand it all down, prep it, and spray it black so that it'll look a bit cleaner in the engine bay. So I'm just doing the um, oh, I'm just doing the positive and negative side uh, for the coil. I just dropped my tape. Um, but I just realised that this uh, is supposed to hold the spark plug wires, but obviously I only have one spark plug wire run into the coil. So I can use the other one to hold all the other wires. So I'm just going to get these wrapped up and then tidy up this. Totally wrap these three wires up uh, and this, obviously this resistor thing, that's one of them. And then took them away. See if we can make it look a little bit cleaner. I'm going to leave the... Uh, the thing that holds the bracket that holds the coil to dry until tomorrow and then we'll install the coil tomorrow okay so continuing on from where we left off yesterday here's the terribly painted uh coil holder we're gonna reinstall this um get all the wires hooked back up together and then take it from there all right so we're getting everything put back together um everything's all taped up nicely well not nicely but <laughs> it's taped up nonetheless um, so yeah, I'm just going to put these little uh, nuts back on and uh, everything should be all good. I completely forgot about this, so I'm going to undo this, slide this under and re-tighten it. But, got everything all wired up so that is good. Alright, and so we are done. I've reconnected everything. Couldn't really figure out how to get this face in like 
that way but I'll ask her if that's actually important in a bit because I'm not even sure what it is I might have to just look in the manual uh, but yeah go from back connected you know what it, it's not the tidiest but it's a little bit better I guess and at least I know now know how to like disconnect and reconnect the coil I am glad I painted that little bracket black though to be fair it just cleans it up a little bit more so yeah 